The Oshkosh Police Department is investigating two home invasions within the span of two weeks. The first happened April 1st in the 800 block of Vine Avenue. The second invasion was two weeks later on April 14th in the 1200 block of Wisconsin Street. Both invasions took place less than five blocks from one another and within walking distance to UW Oshkosh. News of these home invasions has neighbors on high alert. It's pretty scary. I mean, generally it's a pretty safe area, but um, what's going on is not really a cool thing and it's a little bit nerve wracking. It's unclear if the invasions are related. Both female victims reported an unknown man standing over their bed in the early morning hours. However, their descriptions of the suspect were different. Fox 11 spoke with Oshkosh police today. They tell us these incidents are considered trespassing and not home invasions. We have information to believe that the way the person entered into the homes, one was a window, one was a door, they were not locked at that time. Officials remind people to stay vigilant of their surroundings, and if you see something suspicious, report it to police. Anyone with information is urged to call Oshkosh Police at 920-236-5700. So on April 1st at approximately 7.30 a.m., a female called stating that she woke up and there was a male standing in her doorway. Uh, she said that he had entered into a residence, which is located in the 800 block of Vine Avenue. And when she awoke and saw him, she yelled and he ran away. Okay. And then on April 14th at approximately 4 o'clock a.m., a caller called and stated that a male had entered into her residence and she had awoken to him standing over her bed. And she stated that when she yelled, he then ran. So both males are described at approximately six feet tall, but one incident was reported as the male being skinnier, and the second one was reported as being a muscular build. Is it possible that they're related at all? At this point, we're not sure if they're related or not. Okay. Um, and then did these people happen to be home alone at the time that this happened, or were there other people in the house? I think it was a mix of both. Okay. Yeah. Mix of both. And then... Um, but nothing was stolen or anything like that. It was, they just entered the home. Is that correct? Correct. And this isn't a home invasion. This is trespassing. Trespassing, yep. Can you go over the difference? So trespassing, someone is criminally entering into your home and they are not allowed to be in your home. If they had burglary intentions, they would be intending to commit a felony. And no weapons or anything like that on them as well? No weapons. And then was one of them described with a black mask and the other with a white mask? That is correct. Okay. Um, could it be like a group, like going around maybe doing something or something like that? I don't yeah. know. We don't have any indication. There was a, a group, just that there was one male in each incident. Okay. And then, um, but was there, we don't know if they're in, what their intent was. At this time, we do not. Okay. Um, no weapons. And then, um, could you go over because were these homes locked at the time when these people entered? So we have information to believe that the way the person entered into the homes, one was a window, one was a door, they were not locked at that time. So we do want to remind citizens to be aware of their surroundings and remember to secure both windows, especially with the warm weather, secure those windows and secure those doors. And if you do see something suspicious, please call and report it to us. We are gonna have extra police presence in the area as well. So this was this was not forced entry. Correct. Okay. Um, so yeah, you went over the 9 p.m. routine. That's the 9 p.m. routine that I see yep. everywhere. Yes. <laughs> so yep. lock your doors, everything like that. Yes. Um, have you received any other further calls from that neighborhood of just worry at all? Um, no, we haven't. Okay. Mm. And what would you tell the community? Whether I know, I mean, crime is everywhere, but would you tell the community that Oshkosh PD is? on top of this and going over every little bit of detail to try and catch whoever is doing this. Yes, yeah, so the investigation is ongoing and we do ask citizens if they live in the area where these occurred to check their ring cameras or if they have video surveillance to see if they captured anybody suspicious on their video. And then again, just remind people to be aware of their surroundings at all times, you know, secure those windows and doors, leave a porch light on, anything that you can do to be um, aware of what's going on. Um, seven years, seven, several years ago, there was similar things going on down by the campus, and they escalated into sexual assault. Something like this um, usually emboldens those people who, who do this that don't get caught. I mean, do 
this could have been a lot worse. And at this point, we really don't know the intention of the people that were entering into the homes, but you know, we want to err on the side of caution. We want to be extra aware of what is going on. That's why we uh, wanted to get the message out to citizens to let them know that these incidents have happened. I guess the other thing that I have is obviously, you know, it's kind of a scary situation waking up in the middle of the night and you see somebody standing over you. Like, I guess, did the victims in this case, like, respond appropriately or if somebody is in this situation, like what would be the best course of action for them to take? Yeah, so in both cases, the um, female victims yelled at the perpetrator, which caused them to flee the scene and then they alerted law enforcement as to what occurred. Were these college students or you can't say? I can't really say. Okay. Perfect. Okay. Yeah. All right. Thank Yay. you guys. Thank